Welcome back everybody to SK Lifestyle. Today, of course, I'm going to go over the Carry Bright wireless remote control turn signals. Yeah, that's right. These lights can be used on any kind of bicycle or a scooter, which I have right here. So today I'm going to go over exactly how I have it set up on my scooter, what it looks like when they're turned on, and my personal thoughts on how well they work and their use and operation and all that. So it's not going to be a very long video, but you're going to want to stay tuned for the whole thing. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And even if you don't like it, the product at the end of this video, be sure to hit that like button to let YouTube know that you at least liked the video that helped you know that you didn't even like the product. So with that said, let's get to it. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to SK Lifestyle. Yeah, that's right. You just want to hit that subscribe button right there and the notification bell. All right, so here's the brackets here. And on the front, you can see that they're actually separated. And they kind of anticipated that you may have this kind of separation need in the front of a bike or a scooter. So it's really nice that they do that. And of course, you saw the back of these. They just have a little block and it slips right in here. You just push this tab down and slide it in which I'll do now, but I'll need both hands, so give me a moment. And there you go, it just slips right in, and it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, there's just a little rubber band that hooks on the back of either side of this little bracket, and that's it, it's very simple. They actually bring you two more extra rubber bands in case you lose one, which I almost did shooting this video. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the back side, and then I'll put all of them in, and then we'll light them up. All right, so on the back here, you can actually see it's a whole bracket. So one light goes on one side, one goes on the other. And again, they make it so that it is basically just gonna wrap around the pole here. So same thing, one rubber band, and it just clips around either side of the bracket. And that's basically it. And it's actually pretty nice. You can see I got my basket here, but because this bracket angles upwards, I put it all the way at the top and it still goes right over the basket so it can be visible. So same thing, you just push the little clip down and slide in the light, so I'll do that now. All right, so that's how it looks. So I'm gonna throw the other two in right now, give you a full view of what it actually is like to have them all set up, and then we can turn these babies on. All right, so that's what they actually look like in the back of my scooter, and now for the front side. All right, so there's the front view. They may look a little crooked, but remember, these are both separate, so you know, I got a little more on one side than the other, so it's kind of, you know, hindering the way they're set up, but they're pretty much even. And obviously you can make it, you know, as even as you would like. All right, so now to turn these babies on. And you actually have to do it individually. So you see there's a power button for each one. Just hold it. There you go. And for the back side, And the last one. So it's actually a pretty bright color. Now I'm going to actually go outside right now. And I will show you what it looks like in the dark. But first I actually want to use the remote. Alright, so we have the remote here. And I have it freehand, although it does, again, you can see the little clip areas. So it just uses a little band. You can put it wherever you want. Um, but I have it here just so you can watch me. So... I'm gonna go ahead and tap one of the buttons and you can see that one on and hopefully the back one is blinking. Now if they're reversed, then obviously you just need to unclip it and put it onto the right side um, and you'll figure it out as soon as you turn it on. So I'll go ahead and click it again, turned off and I'll go ahead and hit the other side. That side's blinking and that side is blinking. So I'll go ahead and hit the button, turn it off and then I'm pretty sure this center one is hazards so there you go, he actually got two little red hazards and kind of uh, hazards in the back kind of uh, going flashing back and forth. And I forgot to mention, while you got these small hazards, if you double click again, or if you click one more time, then all the lights turn on. So you can get a full flash. All right, now let's step outside and see what it's like in the dark. All right, so there's some lights around. You can see like the street light and a little house light over there. So that's what it's like. I'm just gonna leave them all blinking just so you can get an idea. You can actually kind of see it from the sides too, you know what I mean? Which is pretty nice. 
and then you got the front view and I'll go ahead and actually cut them off left right yeah not bad and I'm about you know four feet away from the bike right now while I'm doing it so let's see how far away it goes I'm about 10 feet right now and it's still working all right now time for review all right so where do I land on this carry bright system well I'd have to say out of 10 I'd give it an 8 and here's why because it is very hard to find any kind of system to put on a bicycle or a scooter that isn't hardwired. Now, yeah, there is room in the bottom of this for a battery and a, there's a compartment and stuff. So you could get a small six volt battery or something or a small little 12 volt and hook up some whole wired, you know, jerry rig system to this. But I didn't want to do that. And as far as wireless is concerned, there's not that many options out there. Um, and if there are, none of them looked as robust as this. Now, with that said, where it loses a few points? Well, it's wireless. So if you're out of a battery, and specifically, if you're out of one of those little circle 2032 batteries that you use in like watches and stuff, then you're not going to be able to access the remote. Luckily, I will say a saving grace is that you can actually pop one of the buttons real quick and have it blink. So if you really did need to get the blinker to work and there's juice in the LED batteries, because these are all, um, what do you call it? Plugins, little USB charges. So if you have some power left in it, you can actually tap the button and get it to work. Now to go do that every time you go to take a turn would be kind of a pain. That's where it loses a few points. But I mean, in that it's also the blessing that it's wireless. It's very easy to put on. You can snap it anywhere. And so that's why it's a pretty good product. Now I will say too, if your battery is starting to die on the remote, the, the operation isn't that great. Maybe one of the lights will catch, usually the front ones where the remote's closer to, the back ones really won't, even though it's only about two and a half feet. Now you saw, I got a brand new battery and I don't think I told you, but I had to actually run to CVS to grab a new pack of batteries because the old one died. Now it was a cheap little battery that they bring in in the beginning, but you know, it just is what it is. So I, and the other reason why it gets an eight is because these cost about 70 bucks. They're not super cheap. A lot of the other items that I got on the scooter are like $15, $9. So you really gotta want these, but if you do, it's probably the best wireless option that I've seen out there. And I scrolled around on eBay and Google and Amazon for a long time. So. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. Again, even if you find this product not to your liking at all, please hit the like button to tell YouTube that you at least appreciated the video that I made for all of you out there. And of course, if you did like the product, you know, then hit the like button as well. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all your support. I appreciate your time. With that said, see you next time.